Hello, genealogists. This is Craig again from Just Genealogy. So today I was looking for something to do on Georgia, largely because I have lots of friends in Georgia and I very rarely touch Georgia. So I went to my number one go-to place to find things and that's Records of the Accounting Officers of the Department of the Treasury. You know, my favorite book, Record Group 217, The Records of the Accounting Officers of the United States. And I started reading about claims of the state of Georgia relating to the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812, May 1793 to March 1859. Two feet unbound records arranged numerically by account number. Settled accounts stated, uh, settled accounts of the state of Georgia followed under the authority, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. So I continued reading in this series of records, and I read this series has been microfilmed as NARA publication M1745, Final Revolutionary War Pension Payment Vouchers, Georgia. Now, the idiot who wrote that was me, because this is not this series of records. The final Revolutionary War pension payment vouchers for Georgia are found in entry 722, not 739, which this is. So if you happen to own a copy of this book, this is a original printing, not the, this is my working copy, not the current printing. Um, I would recommend that you go to page 180 and you write a little note about this idiot who said that it was M745. When in fact, I knew that there was a microfilm publication on the claims of the state of Georgia. And that microfilm publication is in fact M745. Wait, okay. So the problem is 7045, 1745 is claims of the Georgia militia for campaigns against Indians on the frontier 1792 to 1827. And the final payments are 746. So annotated 745 is claims of the Georgia militia and 746 belongs over in entry 722. So this is what I was looking for, this finding aid to M1745 claims for the Georgia militia campaigns against Indians on the frontier, 1792 to 1827. Now, if you've ever done any research in Georgia, and I'm sure many of you have, there's a problem. There's what you call a paucity of records. I mean, the first census doesn't occur until I think 1820. I'm pretty sure of that. So anything before 1820 that relates to Georgia is good stuff. So this finding aid has in it the claims of members of the Georgia militia. So if you're in the Georgia militia, it might be important to you. So for example, Voucher 55, Ann Har, widow of Basil Jones, assignee of certificates of companies of Norris and Dawson, totaling $236.71. Date of voucher, August 15th, 1827. Name, Lieutenant Stephen Flint, company Norris. Dates of service, 13 January to 17 March, 1794, plus miscellaneous. So that puts Lieutenant Stephen Flint in Georgia in January through March of 1794, amount 8746. And then uh, John Flint gets $48 for the same time period. And William Upton, who's in Dawson's company, for 15 September 1793 to 27 January 1794, $101.25. So it's full of names and it's full of dates of service. And it's, a, it's an interesting time period because there isn't much information on Georgia. Um, Voucher 72 says, William Gibson, executor of William Johnston, assignee of the claim of George Cornelius for $164.25. Date of voucher, 29 November, 1827. Name, George Cornelius. Company, Randolph. 27 May to 31 December, 1793. $164.25. So th there's a lot of stuff like that around. Now, in the end is a roll list 
Now these, so these claims are on microfilm and I will do what I can to figure out how we can get this microfilm publication up on Fold 3 sometime during the next year. Uh, because after all, it is my favorite record group. In the meantime, if you'd like to get to the finding aid itself, you can order it from the National Archives. Or if you're an impatient person like I am, you can download a, a copy of it from the National Archives microfilm catalog system. If you go to genealogy records, click on that, go to microfilm catalog, click on that, click on advanced search, and it will take you to uh, some fields that should be filled in. All you have to do is in the top field, type in M1745, and that will take you to a screen that will have additional information and an Adobe PDF symbol over in the right-hand side. If you just click on that, you'll be able to download a copy of information that's contained in this finding aid. Now, if you'd like, if you have trouble doing that, just put something down in the comments and I'll reach out to you and um, figure it out, help you to figure it out so that you know how to use the microfilm catalog. What we're saying here, I think, is, is that at some point I should do a thing on how to use the NARA microfilm catalog. I'm writing that on my list. Well, that's done. Well, this has been just genealogy. Converting genealogy, people doing, I, one day I'll get it straight. People converting people doing genealogy into genealogists day by day. <sighs> so frustrating. Why do I have to come up with a catch phase, phrase, phase, phrase, whatever. Y'all have a great day. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for putting up with me again.